ladies so i want to share with you like maybe four or five ways you can style a satin skirt in addition to i want to show you my little collection of satin skirts i really do enjoy these skirts especially when you know, you're going to work or even like you know during the week or on the weekend we just want to look kind of like you know snazzy or whatever the case may be without trying too hard now this one that i do have on this is a, a simple black one this one does have a little like a um i don't want to show too much it does have a um like a wrap it's a wrap satin skirt so i like this one because it gives me more movement when i'm walking i don't have on any shoes to kind of show you because you can't see my feet anyway but it does it looks really good when you have on some heels and so forth and so on so before i get into my collection of skirts i just want to show you how you can actually style you know a slip skirt now i'm going to show you this is a black one that i do have that's a wrap one and i do like this one because it's, it's, it's really cute it has a little detail i got this one from h and m i got it a couple of years ago and they always have slip skirts so you can always i call them slip skirts i call them satin skirts however you want to call them they always have them every which way now now here's another more classic um satin skirt slip skirt however you want to call it this is more of a classic one i just got this one from the cleaners because i had to get the zipper fixed i really want to put this one on because i like how this one looks this one this looks good but I, I prefer this one better because one, let me tell you, it's a little bit more clingy to my body. So it gives a, a, a different illusion versus how this one gives, okay? This one, this one makes me look, looks, make me look a little bit more wider because it's more of a, the A-line going out this way. This one is still A-line, but it has more of a form-fitting look. But we love our black. So let's get into how we can style these satin skirts. First up is pretty much a tube top. I think this is like a classic look right here with a nice little cardigan over. This cardigan is from Target. I will link everything down below if I don't find exactly what I have on. I'll link something um, similar. This is a standard um, cardigan from Target. It is a short cardigan, so it's more of a crop cardigan. It's not like a full length sweater cardigan. This one here. So I like to wear my sweaters like this or I'll wear them like this. Now, if it was a longer cardigan, then I would wear it like this. But since this one's kind of short, I would just do this number. Now, for those of you who know, and I do share a lot, that I do like showing my shoulders. I don't have no beautiful shoulders or nothing like that, but I just love showing my shoulders and I like off the shoulder tops and things like that. So, and two tops and tank tops and all that good stuff. But um, this is definitely a classic look for me right here. And I will put on some pumps or some heels. And you can even put some sneakers on. Like, for me, this would be cute with a pair of um, Stan Smiths or any type of sneaker. It doesn't even matter. Any sneaker that you have, Converse, anything cute, will give you that nice girly look. And this one is definitely a midi. It is um, below the knee. Next up is a denim shirt. A denim shirt, a jean jacket, anything to kind of make it a little bit more casual. Even with the sweater, the sweater is really, really casual. But I like this look right here. Because even if you have any of the skirts that I'm going to show you later on, can do this number right here. Even with the sweater, I mean, maybe not that particular color, but any sweater that you might have, whatever, you know, color that can go with any of the skirts, or any of the skirts you have at home. A sweater look is always good to put over the shoulder or even over the waist. This right here, I like this look because one, the actual um, jean jacket can give it a little bit more edgier, a little bit more casual, a little bit more, um, just more relaxed, you know. It's not like, okay, we're dressing up or we're trying to be preppy or anything like that versus a sweater. This one's a little bit more, you know, chill out, chill out. I like it. <laughs> okay, next up is the sweater. Now, you can either wear the sweater out or you can wear it tucked in. You can tuck it in. Let me see. I got to make sure what my right and my left is versus the camera. Now, then loosen the skirt. And again, this number, for me personally, I do like the sweater look when you just want to wear, you know, kind of have it to look more cozy with your sweater. I do like this look. But, um... I would prefer this skirt 
I mean this sweater with the other black skirt because one it's a little bit more form fitting and this makes me look more a more wide I am going to show you later how it looks with the other skirt just so you can kind of get a feel or a similar skirt so you can kind of get a feel of how another skirt will look on me that's not so um like a line if you will okay last but not least and there's many other ways you can definitely you know jet up your satin skirt this is just a regular um it's kind of i don't want to say silk but one of them little funny i'll look at the the, the label in a minute but this is a regular black shirt this shirt is a size six i had this shirt for so long from h&m never wore it the tag is still in it i can finally and it was on clearance i can finally get in to this my arms were um too big to get into it so by me shedding a few pounds i was able to get into it but you can definitely do this number right here you could do it with a color skirt or you could just do it pretty much with all black monochromic um look you know black on black gotta love it but let me get into showing you my satin skirts that i do have and i got some new ones i got some old ones like this one is an old one i never wore i'm gonna try to wear it one day but for some reason for me I, I have to figure out how I'm going to get it to look the way I want it to look. Like, I'm showing you guys on camera because, you know, you got my friends. But I, I haven't worn it in public because the way it just makes me look. I guess because it's, it's kind of more, more wide. So, let me show you some other. So, here's one of my faves. Now, this is what I'm talking about when one of my satin skirts fit me just a little bit better. That one was just more of, you know, kind of A-line. and just kind of spoils out. This one here fits me. All of them go below the knee and they do, you know, that cute little number. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put on the jean shirt just so you can kind of get a different feel. You can always wear it with a tube top when the, the months are warmer, but I would definitely wear it just like this with either a pair of pumps, some sandals, or some sneakers. This is definitely okay. So here we have it with the jean shirt. I'm probably going to probably put the jean shirt for all of them because I definitely like this look right here this is like so me this is the most you gonna get from me when it comes to layering i might pop my collar or something like that cuff my sleeves leave it just like this carry a purse shoes that is it this is the most you getting out of me when it comes to layering but this is it i like how this looks let me know what you think this is one of my favorite skirts i was gonna get it a this skirt again target had one but I said, you know what, Kelly? You already have this color. Don't get the same color again. Get a different color. <laughs> so this is one. Okay, next up, I'm going to keep on the same ensembles. I like this little casual look right here. This skirt here, this has a little activity going on right here. And I love this skirt. I have not worn this skirt out yet. I did take a picture in it, but this skirt has not seen the streets yet look at this y'all this is so cute oh god i can't wait so i might wear this this weekend so if you guys see it on the gram you know let me know i love this skirt this skirt is just so cute a lot of activity when you walk in i would wear this with um some pumps mm, no i don't know what i would wear this with maybe some black sneakers yeah, I wear with some black sneakers and a black bag. Just let the skirt do the talking. The skirt do the talking. This is so cute and so sexy. So, this skirt is from Forever 21. This was, I think I bought this skirt two years ago along with um, that rust color one. This one right here. I bought this one as well. About two years. They, they have more, but I just recently bought one. I'm going to show it to you. I bought a peach one and they still had this color. They didn't have this one. It had a different variation of this one. I don't think it had all this um these little ruffles going over, but this is just so cute and so sexy. Let me know what you think, okay? Okay. Next up is this nice lavender light. I won't call it plum because it's not plum, but this one is so cute. I recently bought this one from Target. I have another one. No, this is yeah, from Target. It's a new day. And what I like about this one is, again, it, it hugs the body, it has a little band right here to kind of, you know, keep everything in place. And I just like how it just hugs 
the body is you know it's not super super tight it isn't a small i didn't get an extra small in this one this is a small and i just like how you know when you walk <laughs> that's all steak right <laughs> but you know when you walk it just gives you all the illusions that you need it doesn't give off too much but it just gives off for just enough and that's what i like about this one okay so here is one that i got from forever 21 recently this is a medium now you can see they all kind of fit me the same right but they're different sizes different companies you know this one here this is definitely nice and snug it's a little bit snugger than <laughs> snugger than the rust color one but nevertheless it definitely oh this is so nice i just like how it looks i might wear this one over the weekend i don't know which one i want to wear i'm wearing one of these skirts over the weekend i can't wait so let me tell you how much these cost this was $14.99. Ladies, I know some people say, oh, I don't want to go on Forever 21. And for the young girls or whatever the case may be. My thing is this. You don't have to get your whole wardrobe from these places. But to get little pieces to kind of, you know, get in there. I know um, a lot of women will sit and say, oh, I got mine from Saks, Nordstrom, wherever the case may be. Um, Neiman Marcus, but meanwhile, they don't went right over to the in a more inexpensive store and got the same darn skirt. You know, the quality may not be up to par, and you never know because I know the one that I got from Target. This one right here, this one is some really good quality. I mean, this was a little bit thinner than this one, but nevertheless, it still gives me the same look. It's the same, you know, it looks good. So, yeah, this is nice. Okay. So this one here, this is a little bit more snazzy, snazzy. This one is a true slip-on skirt. No zipper, just slip it on one, two, three. Um, I like this one. I purchased this because I saw it on the mannequin. And the way it looked on her, it just looked really, really nice. Um, I got this one in, I got this one from Boohoo. I'll link it down below. I got this in a size, it says 12. So I think it's like a medium. So, I like it. I have not worn it out yet. Oh, let me get the seams right. I wonder why I was looking funny. Okay, so this one here is a little bit longer. Maybe I have, I'm doing too much. Okay, this one's a little bit longer. I do like this one. Um, with this one, I think I would probably, I mean, you could do the denim. The denim is not an issue. But just to kind of give it a little bit more zhuzh, let me try it on with the black shirt. So here's with the black shirt. The black shirt gives it a little bit more, just a little bit more. I would probably do a black bandeau as well. But just to kind of give you the illusion of what is going on. Now, I do like to wear my shirts doing this little number right here. And it may not be for everyone, but that's just my comfort zone and what I like. But this here is super cute. I do like it. It gives me a different look. I wear some black pumps with this one. Okay, last but not least, this is a nice little sage color one. I like this one versus this is from H&M. I got this many, many moons ago. <laughs> Did not wear it. Now, this one here, even though it is a that A line, it does look a little bit more flattering on me versus the other one that i have i don't know if it's because that one is not it's a button so the buttons were kind of loose and i had to do, do the actual um belt so i wasn't really getting it as tight as i wanted but yeah i like this one really really nice i'm gonna put on my g shirt since we are transitioning into fall okay let me i'm looking in the viewfinder so I'm not sure where my tags is at. So I'm gonna put the tag in. This is really cute. This is really, really cute. Can you tell that I like tying knots and because even in my t-shirts, I always tie knots. Okay. This is super cute. Okay. I like this. Let me know what you guys think. 
What's your favorite? What's your favorite skirt? Um, do you wear satin skirts? These little, these little numbers. Do you wear them? Let me know. I like these. I think they're just so effortless. I think you could just throw these on without thinking about it. It's like putting on a pair of jeans, but a skirt. You know, how you put your pair of jeans and you don't think about it. Put this skirt on. You have to think about. It. You can still look cute. You can still look snazzy. You can do brunch with this. You can um, go out and kind of up it a little bit, depending on if you want to do a jean shirt, if you want to do a sweater. A blouse however but I do think this is so nice I feel like my seam is in the wrong spot let me know what you guys think this let me know if you like this and also let me know if you like these type of style videos I do have a lookbook coming up with some jeans just to kind of give you a feel of how my wardrobe is and you know if you like this type of content let me know I can definitely keep it coming and we incorporate it we you know what our beauty and our makeup but of course you know do some style you can see <laughs> and let me know if you like this i do like this skirt i don't know why i didn't wear this freaking skirt it's like two years three years never wore it but i wore the black one when i had the cleaners i wore that one to death that's how to get a new zipper so yeah okay ladies so thank you for letting me share my satin skirt collection and showing you you know Four or five different ways on how you can, you know, pretty much style your satin skirt and how I style my satin skirt. And if you do wear satin skirts, please let me know. Please let me know which one you thought was, you know, one of your faves. If you like more patterns, if you like more solids, you know, I'm a solid girl, but I do play around patterns every now and then. <laughs> As you can see, I don't have too many. But um, yeah, I just want to say thank you. I want to say hey to all my new subscribers. Hey to all my loyals. Thanks for hanging out, man. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.